videos. I, I'm on your Facebook page, and it's amazing what you do. <laughs> I'm so impressed. So, anyway, and these are just used for the library. There we go. So these are all making movies. Mm -hmm. Right? Or going to be in one when I appear. Or be in one. Okay. Well, we're going to talk today just a little bit about um, some more of the techniques when it comes to getting some shots, uh, lighting, audio, just some things to kind of make it a little bit more professional looking. Um, like Mary said, I do photography. My background is in video. I came up in television news um, and then worked for an advertising agency in Sioux Falls doing commercials and doing um, longer format. Uh, I guess I don't know exactly what you call it. A lot of the videos were used for fundraisers um, and just kind of telling, telling people stories. And so storytelling is kind of a big passion of mine. Um, and it's, it's one of those things like a well-crafted, well-put-together story is something that can, can uh, you know, cause some kind of change, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's uh, for someone to give money or whether it's just for entertainment value. Um, and so, but every video that you do or, or every movie that you make, there's certain steps to it. Now, did you guys go over uh, storyboards? Yes, so, with my mother. Perfect. So storyboarding is, you know, especially in something like this where you guys have control over your vision, um, is a good key. You know, it seems like the a good strong opening shot or opening sequence. A sequence is a series of shots put together. Uh, if you think about wide, medium, tight, you know, if you watch movies, you'll see a wide shot. You'll see a tighter shot of action happening within that wide shot, and then another even tighter. Uh, I was just going to show a quick, just a quick segment of this video. This is the latest video that we did for the church. Um, and it shows some of that sequencing and some of that um, pacing. You know, a lot of this stuff is going to come together when you get done. Brian Eaton, and uh, we are south of here in South Dakota, about eight miles. Uh, that's where we farm. I guess my favorite part about farming is just being your own boss. Um, you get to set your own hours, which usually ends up being quite lengthy. But <laughs> I guess that's just because you like it. And, uh, I like being challenged, and there's always different challenges to farming. Farming is more of a, a lifestyle. You get what back what you put into it, and uh, but you got to do it right, and you got to be sustainable. It's got to you got to do it every year. You can't just do it one year and then not the next. So you got to always be looking ahead and uh, learn from your mistakes and um, just try to do things better all the time. You just can't just throw the seed out there. You got to make sure that it's right and uh, make sure that. You have your fields fertilized and uh, keep the weeds out of them and, and uh, have the dirt right so that's fertilized. a lot of this. So basically just sequencing how do people move around throughout your, your story. You know, they walk into frame, they walk out of frame. Um, you saw some wide shots of that combine moving, you saw some tight shots of that same combine moving the same direction from the same side, right? Does that make sense? So just kind of keeping a cohesive flow with your shots. Um, you know, that's something to think about when you start putting your storyboards together, like we're shooting the interior of a car and the driver gets in, you don't want to see him reaching for stuff with his left hand, right? Because his left hand is going to be up against the door. Um, so just be, you have to be conscious of that kind of stuff. Um, I see that this, what's your name? Brandon. Brendan? Brandon. Brandon has a tripod. There's nothing worse than shaky video. Unless it's um, I see a lot of people, you know, when they're shooting their stuff, they're running around, you know, looking like a zombie just out there, and, and your footage is going to reflect that. Um, you know, I, 
I use a few different cameras. This is a camera that I, I shoot stills with, I shoot video with. This is a camera, it's a GoPro, I shoot my drone footage with. Um, GoPros can go, I mean, just about anywhere. And the, the video quality of them is pretty good. And then this is just a point shoot camera that turns out excellent for me. Um, you know, a few other things that, uh, that I like to talk about is light. Um, this is just a, it's a, like a $30 light, Amazon. Um, blue for daylight. It's got this insert, which then turns it into the same uh, temperature as like tungsten light, which would be like your house light, you know. Um, fluorescent would be more like this. You know, just simple little tools to kind of, like I said, kind of polish your video up. Um, you don't want to, I mean, the light in here isn't bad, but it's not ideal. You know, I mean, if you can bring a little light in right on someone's face and it, you know, I don't have to iris way up, or iris way, way uh, I don't have to open my iris way up in order to get enough light in to make him look good. Um, audio is a big thing. Do you guys, what are you guys shooting with? Most of you. Phone iPads, so they don't have the best as far as microphone capabilities when you get farther away from, from your audio source. Um, so keep that in mind when you're shooting. I mean, if we're shooting a talking sequence here and the camera's really, really close, well, if you back up to over here, it's going to get real echoey, you know? You're going to hear this vent, you know, because you're getting closer to that farther away from your people. Um, so keep that in mind. Have you guys talked about ideas as far as what you guys, what your movies are going to be about? Yeah, you started fleshing out some of those ideas. Have you started putting down, started creating your storyboard? I have. You have? What's that? I'm not sure about everyone else. Um, what is the, what's the hardest part about putting your storyboard together? Getting people to actually play the parts. Yeah. Thinking of how and what the movie plot's going to be like. Sure. What is, can I ask what the plot of your movie is? Or what it's about? It's about zombies taking over the world. Zombies taking over the world. What, what would be a good opening shot for that? Um, to kind of set the scene of your movie. Like, I guess, what if one person turns to a zombie and they're like, they're gone. Mm -hmm. They're faceless. Sometimes you'll see like just like one hand, you know, one yeah. zombified hand come around a corner. You know, opening shots need to be, they either need to set a scene or a mood or a feeling. If you think back, if you think about all the movies that you guys like, um, think about the opening scene to them. They're setting something up. They're setting up your story. So it needs to be something um, pretty dramatic, you know. Um, if you're talking about, you know, little Huron out in the prairie who's about to get hit by this wave of zombies, maybe it's a shot of Dakota Abbey, you know, and some lady with her baby carriage crossing the street, you know, um, because that creates this feeling of, of safety and, and nothing bad is going to happen, well then the zombies come, you know. So it goes back to that, that feeling and you just kind of destroyed it. Um, that feeling that you set up, you know. Yeah. So, anybody else? What other movies do we have? What's that? Music videos. You know, same thing. You've got to have a Strong opening shot um, and transitioning shots. You guys know what transitioning shots are? Like normally they they fade from shot to shot, like from sun up to sundown, or from sundown to the next day, or from location to location. Um, and a lot of this stuff you're going to get into in the editing room. Um, 
but I just want to make sure that when you guys get there, you've got what you need. Um, tight shots will always get you out of the line. You know, so shoot plenty of tight shots. I shoot a lot of stuff with this slide track, which I think may have gotten bent since it was sitting in my car. It's not what's or maybe it's got it maybe it's got to be super dry. But it just adds a little bit of of movement to the camera shot. Um, So any of that kind of stuff. I used to use a skateboard for those kind of shots, believe it or not, because I mean it's just wheels. What's that? It works. Yeah, it works. You know, it's just something to give your your uh, camera just a little bit of, of a movement. Um, you know, something I, I always talk about when we talk about shooting uh, still photography is changing your perspective. You know, there's something really cool about a pers way up high perspective. You know, you can see forever. Um, like those drone shots out in that field where you can see how small the combine and the truck is and how much they have to combine. Um, so just changing perspectives, kind of getting uh, out of this viewpoint right here, you know. So getting down low, getting up high. Um, what, have you guys started shooting anything yet? No. No? When does that process start? Does anybody know? Whenever they're ready, they get their storyboard, and then I thought after your... And then they'll, then they'll start? They can start, yeah. And then editing, they'll be, have a class next week on editing. Yeah. So. Um, I think it'd be cool to see if you guys can shoot some stuff. Are they going to be able to edit anything next week? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, don't you think, Melissa? Yeah, if there's raw footage that somebody would want to, if you shoot some raw footage and you want to play around with it. I would, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think I we know should, we're going to have the team computer set up for them, so yeah. I think we should try to do some shots right today. I think as a group, we should come up with a quick one minute movie. Shoot it, and then next week you guys come to the stage. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's start here. Some ideas. One minute, we'll do it inside the library. Is that all right? We run around out there. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm <all> it. <laughs> so it could be as simple as uh, somebody returns an overdue library book and has to pay a fine, right? It could be as complicated as zombies take over the library. That sounds a little bit more complicated than half an hour, but anybody have an idea? I'm not hearing anything. A robbery. A robbery? Who's going to play the robber? I'll play the robber. You're going to play the robber? What are we robbing? Um, are you stealing books? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? But if you steal them. Give me this book and you're like, okay. You don't have more time, though. All right, let's get rolling. So, opening shot, scene setter. We want people to know where we're at. What should we shoot? Um, a big copy top of the entire area where we're shooting. Do we want to stay inside the library or do we want to go outside? Outside. Let's yeah, get a perspective of the entirety of the library. Let's go outside. Grab your coats. I got it going on. Perfect. 